What's up guys? It's Sam here and uh, my MK677 just came in, a Secretagogue. It is not a SARM. Um, so I wanted to recap on what I'm going to be doing, my dosing, uh, what it is, very briefly because there's plenty of other videos out there with people that I know I'm sure that I bet know a lot more about it um, than I do, but uh, let's get started. So um, the ones that I've got come in a 10 milligram capsules. So there's 90 in here. I'm gonna be taking uh, 20 milligrams per day. Uh, I, how I'm gonna do it is 10 in the morning and 10 at night. Um, the reason I'm doing that, and I also plan to stay on it for probably about six months, so we're looking at probably the end of March-ish time period, maybe longer, but at least till the end of March. It's mainly for my elbow, my knee, and uh, my lower back sometimes, but those three areas, so I'll keep you posted on how that's progressing. Um, MK677 is a secretagogue that tells your body to produce more um, GH, and it's a growth hormone, and that byproduct of that is that it increases IGF levels. Um, and that I'm mainly taking it for the healing benefits of it, but there is tremendous other benefits like skin, sleep, eyes, nails, uh, overall health that helps regulate the other hormones in your body. It helps with sleep. There's just an almost an end, endless laundry list of uh, benefits to it with not a tremendous amount of negative side effects associated with it. Um, if you can handle being hungry, like that's not fucking difficult. <clears throat> and uh, then I'll also mention my diet. In 2018, it actually went into clinical, um, preclinical stage for, uh, that's the part before it goes into clinical trials. And to be a drug. There was a legislation in the past earlier in 2018 to make SARMs. So I'm not sure if MK677 is classified as a SARM, even though it's not a SARM, it's a secretagogue. Um, so I'm not sure if this is part of that, but a lot of the companies that were marketing SARMs here in the US um, shut down. So there's still a bunch of them out there. You just have to do a little bit of digging or Googling, uh, but you can, in plenty of other countries, you can get this far more easily. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, the last time I took this, so I've taken this before a few times, last time I took it, I think I had it for probably six to eight months, and that was when I was on a caloric deficit, and I got really lean, but that was not necessarily, so that's another effect of the GH is that you lose a little bit of fat and it helps with a little bit of muscle, but those are not, those are very low in terms of the overall effect. Um, so the last time I took it, I'll uh, throw a link down in the description of the last time I took it, a comparison from like when I was bulking to when I was cutting. And that was during the period where I was on this for about six months or longer. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna start out at 20 uh, milligrams, 10 at night, 10 in the morning. Uh, I'm also taking Osterine. Um, I gotta go check the milligrams on that. I think it's 20 milligrams and I'm taking, I think it's 30 milligrams on that one and it's I'm doing 20 in the morning and 10 at night, as well as SR9009. Excuse me, and I think I'm doing 20 milligrams of that as well. I'm not splitting it up during the day because I don't feel like taking shit during the day, but I'm taking 10 of S09, SR909. That's actually uh, RBE agonist or something. I don't know. If you want to see more on that, Google that or hit that like button and uh, let me know down below in the comments and I can make something about it. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, hold on, that's where I'm sitting at right now. Um, I'm probably 200 and 221 pounds-ish. Not super lean, not, uh, this is also at the end of the day. Um, quickly on my diet, I'm at uh, about two pounds of uh, 
meat per day. And with my meals, I'm having somewhere in the neighborhood of four to seven different types of vegetables. Uh, not really having any carbs. When I do have carbs, I backload them. Any questions about any of this, let me know down below in the comments. So I have about a pound of ground turkey uh, during the day along with 25 ounces-ish of uh, chicken. I have those together um, and with a bunch of vegetables, no carbs. No, I do not feel lethargic. Uh, I feel great. I have tons of energy every single day. So I have that. I have a, generally I'll go to the gym in the morning, have a protein shake with about 40 grams of protein. There, I do use whole milk. So there's, I think, four or eight grams of carbs per cup of milk. And I use two cups of milk. And then there's about one or two grams of carbs with the protein that I'm using. So I'll have two cups of whole milk with a scoop of protein. So about 40 grams of protein during the morning. And I'll have that at the gym. Then I'll have the first meal somewhere around 9-ish a.m. And uh, that'll be the chicken and the ground um, turkey. After I'm finished at work, I will might have a snack and or a meal and then have another meal before bed. Uh, so I'm, I'm eating a significant amount. I'm not actually counting my fat or my carbohydrates. I'm just shooting for around 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, which puts me at around 330 grams of protein per day. Uh, yeah. So if, uh, if you have any questions, let me know and make sure to press that subscribe button. I'm fucking watching you. Check out that. Oh, man.